In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can batch process multiple IFC files into a single database using the Tracer IFC exporter. You can see here I have a folder containing several IFC files that represent a single project. And what I want to do is combine these files together into a single database. And what I can do with the Tracer IFC tool is batch process multiple files together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse for some files here, and I'm going to go ahead and select several of these IFC files that I want to batch process into a single database. And I'm going to hit open, and the Tracer IFC tool is going to prepare this data. You can see that I now have three IFC files selected, and the information from those IFC files is represented in aggregate in this category listing. So this represents all of the elements that are contained across those three files, and it's also giving me element counts per IFC category. And then what I can do here is simply click export. And what this is going to do is it's going to prompt me for a save file location for my database. Um, this is an SQLite database. And I'm just going to go ahead and append the term merged on the end here. So I know that this um, database contains some merged data across several files. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And what the Tracer IFC tool is going to do is it's going to prepare our geometry and it's going to begin authoring the merged database. You can see it's working its way through each of those three files and it's adding that data together into a single merged database. So now what I can do is I can go to a database browser. You might use Power BI or you might use something like this. This is a free uh, database browser for SQLite files. And I'm going to go ahead and open my database. So there's the merge database that I just created. And I'm going to open it up. You can see we have several tables and indices here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and browse the document table. So I'm going to go ahead and browse this. And you can see that this database contains elements across three different IFC files. So here you can see that the three IFC files that I had selected for processing are now indicated as records under this document table. And the elements for each of those three documents exists in the elements table. So now we can start to perform queries across these three models using this database schema that contains merge information across several IFC files. So hopefully this can really help with different forms of analysis that you may want to um, have across different IFC files. Um, the Tracer IFC tool now provides you with this ability to batch process multiple IFC files into a single database. And hopefully this extends your ability to really leverage this data.